You know, people talk about, I don't know, is there life on other planets? But to me, I wonder um, about life on this planet. So all the other planets, I believe, did have life till we blasted nuclear missiles at them during some point um, throughout history. Maybe even a time we can't remember or recall because we fucked ourselves up and we're stuck here now because... When I think about the surface of Venus, and I saw something that said how you can't survive over, like, a second if you were to go to Venus. I don't know if that's true. I've never been to Venus, right? We really don't know. We only know what we're being told. But if that is the case, and science is indeed telling us the truth that Venus is covered in all this um, gaseous uh, substance that we cannot breathe in or survive or sustain ourselves with, then it, it begs me to, like, wonder... What if there was some sort of nuclear fallout there and there actually was life there before? So, um, I've had dreams where, and and several dreams actually, in the same place. uh, Many dreams of of same places, but I always feel like I'm on a different planet. And there's one uh, set of dreams I've had where I'm in a wasteland. And it's literally just like a desert wasteland with fog and sand and gas in the air. And it's brown. And when I saw this video depicting the surface of Venus, it looked almost exactly like where I was in my dream. And I remember in this one dream, I was wading through these uh, wastelands of Venus, we'll call them. And there was a black girl beside me and she was walking. She was a kid. And I was trying to protect her, but she was very annoying to me. And so there were soldiers out in the distance. Now, how soldiers were surviving in this wasteland, I don't know. But it felt like some sort of uh, post-apocalyptic world. Like maybe this was right after Venus experienced some sort of nuclear fallout. And there was still life there before it got really bad with whatever war they were fighting, right? Well, as I'm wading through the wastelands with this girl, we come across water. Which I feel like is, is a weird thing because the water is obviously tainted. But it's more like a swamp, a very small swamp, sandy, um, probably definitely not a a healthy water source to drink from. But we're walking and we end up having to cross this into the wasteland. And we're walking waist deep in a swamp, wading through it. And then we come across a random door in the desert. It's just a door. We go inside the door and at this point... When I go into the door, the little black girl goes inside of me. So it's almost like I'm housing her spirit. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's weird. Um, But I'm doing this. And as I go in, she goes inside of me. And um, I'm still me, but I'm also her. So as we walk through this door, I'm in a school. And I'm just in this hallway, it's an abandoned school, and there's lockers, and it's just an abandoned scenario. Um, There's a long stretch of a hallway, and I'm walking down the hallway, and then I come to a door, and it's a red door. And I go inside, and then it feels like I'm in a waiting room. And there's a few other seats there, and there's another door. And it's like I sit there, and I'm waiting for someone to come to the door. And then, I can't recall, because it's been years since I had this dream. It's been probably four or five years since I had this dream. And then someone comes out, I think, but the person that comes out isn't like a, like a human. It's it's like, a, it's like kind of like the girl was. So it's almost like a, a ghost or of something. Um, but I can still see them and they pull me inside of the room and I shut the door and then the dream ends. And I wonder if they just pulled me into this planet. Because Venus still looks fucked.